Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken. Today we're going to continue our No Shots campaign. We have left off with Operation Frost Knife, where we are trying to neutralize an enemy target. So that's a, a nicer way of saying Dark VIP mission. Of course, we're not neutralizing him, but we're capturing him because we want to have that sweet, sweet 91 intel. Overall, the run so far is going good. But we are having a problem just to stay in the game with uh, the amount of resources that we do have. We're taking a lot of damage here and there and it's just adding up. So let's take a look and see what we can take onto this mission. We got Roby, Divert and Hogbite, fantastic frontline. We got Sonar and Sane uh, to help us with some more healing. And are we going to take the Zirkim or... So uh, Cougar, we're probably going to take Zirkim for additional damage, which means we have probably the best team that we can field, to be honest. So let's go with Mad Kids here. And I like the idea of a Mimic Beacon as well. Let me just check one thing real quick because we haven't checked that in a while we're going to go for training center uh, we got just a few points um, left over here not too bad on sonar i really like the blast padding and lightning reflexes are awesome by the way as well i think we're almost going for haywire protocol Maybe once this is all over, we should take this ship and go colonize one of their planets. So let's see. Blast padding for Roby would be also a possibility. But I think for now we're just going to go for medical protocol here. Because it is important that each of our specialists has both combat and medical protocol. Yeah, and we haven't really gotten many other ability points. Okay, sorry for the short uh, de detour, but it's important to double check those values. So back to our team. Bobby well, we takes a mind shield and met it for good effort. Um, Diva Tier takes a mind shield. And you know what, Skulljack? And Zirkin takes a Mimic Beacon. I think overall with two Mimic Beacons, probably, by the way, a better idea to give the Mimic Beacon to our backline because then we're not sacrificing damage. And instead give the Battle Scanner to Zirkin in the front. Can we build any other item? No, we're broke as broke can be. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Good, the team landed. We got an exit point. Fair enough. And we are on low, low ground, and I'm just wondering by simply seeing the layout of the map if it would be advisable to move all the way to here. Then jump out and whoosh, go. Uh, to fight whatever is needed and go back down might as well move all the way to here then get up here get the vip and boogie out the timer will be not our friend in this mission i have that daunting feeling that with our limited damage output we're not really doing super hard Right, Roby. Got it covered. Sane. It done. Affirmative. Zirkim and Hawkbite, the legend. I'll lead the way. It would be interesting to know if there is someone up there. Maybe, maybe not. Headed there now. Who knows?
sonar CC option for a hack. And although I don't want to take it immediately, yeah, we're never going to take that because squad side is not useful for us. In the slightest, these rewards were horrible. Understood. Moving out. Okay, well. We just got randomly shafted by a pack that was not to be spotted, but that's why we have like one soldier who's essentially scouting for us. Okay. Well, well, well. So, let's... Yeah, he's blocking the entrance, so that's not optimal. Let's start with Roby. If we were to go up... Yeah, that, that would mean we're potentially pulling another pack. But at the same time, we gotta kill these guys. But an Alarium core, fair enough. Good. Now, who else would get an extra? Okay, well, that would be a bonus action there. Zirkim can simply sprint to here, and that's about it. Fair enough. Enemy down. Well, the sector it's never had been the problem, right? All right, we just triggered another pack. Not totally surprised about it, to be entirely honest. But we got a Mimic Beacon, so we should be fine. Hogbite moves up. Gets his focus. And we can either go for the Spectre or start hitting and being a living Mimic Beacon in front. Yep, that's indeed some really tough armor. We have nothing to fear. We're using our cooldowns because it's on, as you might ha uh, can tell by now. And let's get the mimic beacon to literally here as close to Hogbite as possible so that the Stun Lancer would pass by him and get a nice little hit from his Bladestorm. Oh, okay, well, that of course changes everything, doesn't it? God's elevate. Uh, well, yeah, the things just got a tiny bit more difficult. All right, he at least resisted the fear of the chosen. The chosen aren't going to make this easy for us. Keep your heads down and press forward. We need to get to their location. Yeah, that's lightning reflexes, unfortunately. I have to focus. It's just going to take a shot, which is okay.
That might be a kill. No. Too bad. Yeah, Hopbite is immune to it. Unfortunately, he still decides to parry. Well, that was a clever move. I give him it. Alright, we can school mine, and I would say we're going to do exactly that. Because it allows us to essentially get maybe a facility lead. Uh, should probably take someone with a little bit more hacking power. Continuing to kill the enemies. So if he would explode, we'd be in a bit of a difficult spot. Because it would deal damage to D-Bird. In hindsight, the move with d was not a really, really good idea. Picking up uh, more focus. Somehow the game just starts to not like like me anymore okay so a couple of things number one Let's do a parry here. Number two, let's teamwork. We cannot cluster up. Yes, that would be a problem. Alright, moving up here. Comet Protocol wouldn't kill it. We could use a last teamwork. Not sure if I want to do that. Alright, luckily it uh, he did not explode. If we move up, we're still going to be in a tough spot because that guy has lightning reflexes. Hence, we're double moving Comet Protocol into the Spectre phase. And another Comet Protocol very much into the Spectre phase. Good. We don't want to trigger anything else, so I'll just go on to another parry. That'll create zombies, probably two of them. If it's one, it's fine. I don't mind. Ooh, it's two. And both of them are moving right into a nice little slap redo. 
fantastic. Good, we're concealing ourselves. Only seeing the VIP, which is fine. I can definitely live with that. Moving up for Ovi. Sonar is going to move up a tiny bit, and I would like to use healing so that Diva never drops really far. Sane moves up as well. And Zirkim moves up as well. Hunker down. Hunker down and we're good to go. The Warlock has the option to now decide to simply come here. Or not. I would probably even want to fight him to be entirely honest status confirmed target package in custody what's over there we might trigger another pack down here all right not uh, this time Hawkbite moves a bit closer to the warlock Good. We're moving everyone closer to the exit zone. Got it. And next turn we can extract unless the Warlock decides to show up. I would like to fight him. It's five ability points. That would be fantastic. So, do we want to fight or do we want to stay here? Uh, do we want to go? We could. We might as well just also go. And we only took one damage. Uh, one. Um, one of our soldiers only took damage. Here's here's maybe the logic why I should go. Our biggest problem is that we're always tired and we're always um, uh, fighting uh, uh, with the injuries. And that in itself is a bit of a problem. So to minimize it and only to minimize that, I decide to take the chicken approach. Yeah, we're not getting anything from hacking. Might as well ignore it. Returning to base. Just in time. VIP secure and in position for the back. VIP is secure. I could have won the fight, but it's likely that we would have taken some more damage. And look, for now, just taking a tiny bit of damage. Self-inflicted, if I may uh, say so. That's not going to be a long rest. That's probably six, maybe eight days, um, and we're back in uh, on track. Also, fighting a chosen usually reduces your will quite a bit, and that requires more rest afterwards. Good, we're back on track. Pretty short mission overall. But yeah, none of them are tired, and this is unfortunate to have 18 days for just such a low amount of damage lightly wounded 18 days i think i've seldomly seen that considering the limited resources available to you commander you have still managed to exceed my expectations 
Excellent work. Good. Let's try to upgrade the bond. You can always interrupt the training if needed. We actually got two bonds that are available. Only downside is we did not take five um, ability points. And, but yeah, we can take those a little bit later. So we're good to go. But since everybody is somewhat healed up, we can actually start building radio relays. And we started with soul fire. Let's just get stasis right away afterwards. We are lucky with the abilities that we're getting. Super helpful. Communication coming in for you now, Commander. I had high hopes for the resistance under your Well, we got an very well done from the council. That means a lot to us. S uh, the Avatar uh, sabotage is a problem. But I think we can deal with that. Oh boy, we're definitely not dealing with um, closure of uh, the black market. So we gotta find a way to deal with that. This here is not too bad because we have so many rangers that can all kind of dodge the um, when they are being detected. Could get an additional contact here, but I think we're instead going with the faster construction speed. The extra power is okay. Could also go for soldier bonds which I think is helpful. Gives us faster bonding um, experience. Recruit another Templar. Are you kidding me? It's unavailable. Oh boy, that would be very good. Reduce avatar progress. That's what we're going to do. That is exactly what we're going to do. Hell yeah. And we're putting... A Zukuger on the case. A soldier gets plus one movement. Hmm. Let's put Zirkim on that. Uh, the extra movement <coughs> shouldn't be underestimated. Like extra mobility is good. And of course, no one should be captured. But yeah, that. Wow, that is good. I like it. That'll buy us another month. We're now down to 85 income due to um, the Chosen's continuously cracking down on us. The radio relays improve that. And there is the pursuit of knowledge. So we just got ourselves um, a wonderful uh, laboratory for free. So that works out quite well. Don't need Avenger power at this point. Let's go and make contact in Europe. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our system. Yeah, we can use an additional contact um, at the end of the month. Attempting to establish... When inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. Good. New research avail available, Alerium, is exactly what we wanted. We don't need the modular bow pups because we're not using it. But yeah, Alerium would be exactly what uh, what we need. And we need mech breakdown for it as well, so might as well do that. And then we can purchase the remainder of the Alerium. These robots... And Elarium will uh, lead us the to the heaviest armor. But there's still so much more to learn about the aliens' motivations. Good. Things are starting to look much, much better now. The two soldiers we sent to the training center have developed an even stronger bond. If we can get our soldiers uh, leveled up um, we had another bond but apparently we put them onto the covert ops mission that's fine 
Uh, Hogbite now has bond level 2 together with uh, Roby, so that's fantastic. And yeah, things are really going our way. We're taking a long time just to train up. How about we're going with Void Rift? Another damaging ability because we need Psy abilities that actually damage the enemy. We're, we're lacking the ability to damage. Our research was a success. There is the mech breakdown. Advent has legions of these mechanized units. Remnant Mark II is good. Um, as far as we can I use know, it for hacking purposes. And, and soon we're going to get Elarium. So like I said, we don't really need any of uh, that. Very soon we're going to um, we're going to get Blade Storm, so I'm not sure if the Lost Autopsy is really needed. All but then sick. again, the lure I think was pretty cheap to build. So um, I'll just finish the scan here, then purchase Elarium, and then we can change we're the research subject. The okay, machine learning. The breakthroughs, that's good. I like it. And we can make contact here after building. So that's fine for now. Let's visit the market really quick. Purchase some Elarium. And continue our research towards the heaviest armor. So we're at a solid amount of um, Intel. So that's good. If we were to purchase Elarium, oh yeah, that is cheap enough. Bingo. If we want to continue expanding, we cannot purchase the superior conditioning yet. Hmm. Do I care about expanding? Probably not as much at this point. So let's go for the and still, I mean, we're we're close, relatively close to uh, to expanding even further. Okay, so what we want to do is let's give that extra hit points to Dark Tower Noxus here. Very well. Also, I am in disagreement. Just with the structure of how he again looks. That is not acceptable. That's much better. And finally, let's give him a proper color coding because he's a Psy operative now and not a sniper. I think Dr. Knox is the single um, operative that was a sniper throughout most of the runs, so that's why he's always white. Good, here we go. So we could either go for additional supplies or... We're installing another radio relay, which will give us more income overall. We're back to 220 income, which is fine. You can see if you're not expanding, the crackdown of the Chosens will essentially also squeeze you out. The way to to counteract that is... The way to counteract uh, that is... Okay, well... Continue to make progress on the Avatar project. The way to counteract this is what I wanted to say is to simply not allow that to happen. Um, and and try to expand when you are still having 200 um, income. Okay, so seven more days is unacceptable. Um, we're instead going to um, assault the alien facility. We know that uh, the Viper King is there. I hate fighting against it, but we do have, theoretically, we do have stasis. So that might be an option for us, or the other option is just charging in with everyone, I suppose, and making it a melee madness. So that's indeed an option. And we're going to see how, how strong he really is. Um, 
and yeah maybe we even need to evac i don't know uh, without taking shots at it it's a difficult um, it's a good difficult endeavor anyways this brings us to the end of today's episode uh, we once again are fighting against uh, the doom timer and uh, frankly speaking now that uh, that were forced to uh, to already invade there it's gonna be a bit um, more difficult than I would have expected so probably we're even forced to get some more intel and expand to the next facility because uh, the reality of all of this here is um, we cannot let the uh, doom timer uh, completely go to full we always need to have like one ace in the hole and yeah with context being maxed out, that's a bit a uh, problem. Uh, for this month, we're going to be okay, but yeah, that means we need to increase the context by one. That probably means resistance ring uh, needs to wait a little bit more. Although, you could argue if we had a resistance ring in here, we can also improve the chance of actually getting more missions, and some of them will be reduction of the uh, avatar progress. So. It kind of goes either way, whether more uh, contacts or more um, or the resistance ring would be the better way to go. When we leave the contacts kept as such, there's a higher chance of getting a scan on the um, on the overall um, strategy layer to increase contacts by one. We already got one of uh, those. So there is actually an advantage of like keeping it kept. Um, although that is pretty luck based so it either happens or it doesn't but yeah for this month we can keep it there then we're using the resistance order to get four out of five for next month uh, we can with next month expand to eastern europe eastern europe has a facility uh, there we also have school mining with a second school check so there are quite a few ways of us to get facility leads as well and with the facility leads we can live with a smaller territory without like mass expansion the one thing of a, with a smaller territory that we already talked about that is a bit uh, disheartening is just the low income that you're uh, that you're having uh, that stinks a bit so um, you got to find ways around it but still we got the black market so far uh, so that's pretty solid income and we also got some more excavation here for more income as well so it's not all bad um, with regards to our building structure, um, the the overall build looks fine. With the infirmary, that will be a huge um, upgrade for us to just reduce uh, the time for healing massively. So that's great. I love it. Uh, then probably still resistance ring next and probably then afterwards uh, resistance comms next. And that'll give us a pretty solid um, start. I don't know if we need to go into shadow uh, labs yet to even continue with the golden path golden path definitely is a nice way of um, getting yeah some more ways of reducing the avatar progress but likewise if you can get rid of the facilities and have a resistance ring it's very 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 likely that um, uh, that you will get the avatar progress down so i i'm not afraid um, of that having enough intel here is proceeding as planned commander at the end um, gives us an option to start researching Elarium. Sure that this new project takes time that's what we wanted to do as well once we have something to report once Elarium is done uh, we definitely have the option to go for um for our armor upgrade uh, that will be costly i think it's 500 or 600 supplies but overall uh, something that's worthwhile because we also not only get more hit points but also armor uh, the uh, one thing that we're missing so far is research of shield bearers we don't have them yet that's that is regrettable because with them we would have um, uh, the option to build armor jackets and that would be pretty good for this run just more hit points and more armor in general so that we could withstand a few more blows that combined with maybe some dodge training and some superior um, uh, dodge uh, some superior dodge wouldn't be too bad in terms of um, our soldiers 
I mean, currently we're fine. Divad is the only one who's slightly wounded, so he's not going to be on the mission. If if we can focus on, let's say, Roby and Hogbite um, as the main front line for, for our team, Sonar seems to become more and more kind of the, uh, uh, these, uh, the highest level of specialist, so that's great. So if those three could be the core of our team, we can at later stages um, improve them together with, um, a psi, uh, with two Psy operatives just to round out the profile. And then the last one um, could actually be a skirmisher if we manage to to give the skirmisher enough uh, levels uh, over the course of this campaign. So that would be a really interesting, um, a really interesting group. Alternatively, we could get a, se a second specialist, like two specialists, one ranger, one templar, two uh, psi operatives. That way you do have two damage dealers on the front line, two damage dealers in the back line, and uh, two support slash hacking um, uh, entities with twice the option to hack. That would uh, probably be not too bad um, because taking over like heavy mechs and uh, sector pods um, is would help us like a lot. Uh, the lightning field of the sector pod uh, hurts quite a bit. Unfortunately, the mechs themselves cannot uh, really do a lot. Um, the Andromedon shells, surprisingly, would be good for this run uh, with all of the asset and the melee attacks. So yeah, that, that could be an option as well. So hacking, overall, very strong for this run. One of the abilities that we might want to look out for. Also, if they are finally like maximum level, uh, both of the specialists would have capacity discharger. That's an AOE massive amount of damage, which otherwise we wouldn't be able to get. Of course, all of that becomes very relative. If we get another Templar, then maybe the the right uh, team is Templar, Templar, Ranger, Specialist, Psyop, Psyop. Um, or if we train more Psyops, we might as well go mass Psyops in, in this uh, run and just let uh, the uh, psi powers dominate it would be um, more for the very very end game because i also want the other classes to shine uh, a bit specialists and rangers and templars so the psyops can train kind of on their own and we take them into the missions where where we really need some extra firepower yeah that's it uh, these are the thoughts around uh, just how how uh, the um, builds can develop over time I'm having a blast uh, with the run so far. If you do as well, then consider leaving a like and a comment down below and consider tuning in in two days from now. See you guys. Bye bye.